Hi there, Joka here from A Pocket Full of Happiness and in this video I want to show you some new products, um, one of them being the Candy Swirl uh, background dye and this one I actually will not be using in, in the video, I was going to but I, then I couldn't edit it out. Um, but the other one I will show you in a second, well later in the video, it's called Jingle Bells and this is what I'm working on now. Sorry, it's a bit of a mess. I uh, did the video somehow in not in order or you know um so i um die cut the shadow layer from two cardstock there's no reason to to this i actually just had the white one already die cut and then i changed my mind i wanted to also create some using the uh alabaster cardstock from spa binders and then i um, selected a few colors that I thought would go uh, good with Christmas themes and at this point I did not actually have a plan for the cards yet so um, and because I die cut all these sentiments um, or the sentiment I die cut from various papers I obviously ended up with a lot of letters that um, I wanted to use. I did not want to throw them away. So in the end, I ended up with more sentiments that I needed. And uh, you will notice if you watch other videos as well that I used them on other cards, but then I changed the colors because they, you know, I didn't want to use the same colors on every card I made with the new release. So I just basically changed the uh, color later on by adding. Um, new die cut pieces on top um if that makes sense and uh so you you can see that i actually used two layers of cardstock for the letters as well so um i had a white layer and then i'm um then i glued the uh, color cardstock layer on top just again for some dimension i like dimensional things and now i'm gluing the letters in uh, place you can see that it's very easy to line them up basically you just want to add them to the middle of the um the the outline or the shadow and uh if there are some letters that i kind of hidden in between other two like the i for example um then just you know glue down the other letters first and then you will see where the i should go as well um i'm using my tweezers to clean up um any oozing glue for example so here you see all the uh, five um sentiment dye it's not die sets oh my god i'm so distracted i'm really sorry um i have so many things on my mind and um anyway i'm <laughs> trying to focus so you could see the five things that i created and we'll use on um, cards later today in in this video i'm just using two now this is the background die the candy swirl background and i actually in retrospect <laughs> i should have probably gone with a2 size cards because i feel like they are super empty and that's not so my style um but because lately I've been on a five by seven card roll, um, I really wanted to use that format. Um, yeah, so you could just, I don't know, you, you decide. I think I should have gone with A2 size. But anyway, um, so I created my card bases that are five by seven. And now I'm putting together my candy swirl. Um, I wanted to make sure that you can add as much color to this as possible, but unfortunately there are limitations to what a die can do. So I, I had to keep one uh, piece together. Um, so you can only add five different colors basically. So I am layering this up so uh, it's sturdier and I can create more dimension uh, with it. And uh, for some of the pieces, I'm going to use some foam tape just uh, to add a little bit of 
variation there. So first I'm going to uh, glue down the big piece somewhat in the middle. I think I messed that up a little bit. Um, and now I will add some foam tape to the smaller um, die cut pieces. And basically then I'm just adding the sentiment. So it's a super simple card. But I guess if you, um, if you know, if you always go with different colors, you can uh, do a lot with this. And what I also like about it is that you really don't have to use this for Christmas cards because if you add, I don't know, rainbow colors, or, you know, just changing out the colors, you can use this background for so many things, um, so many occasions. It's so uh, non-specific in my mind, at least. Um, but I really like the uh, candies roll design for, for Christmas. So that's why I had to have this. Um, and this is what I promised. This is the Jingle Bell set. It, it comes with uh, three dies, um, two for the sentiments, and then there's a small holly berry with um, leaves. So I am going to die cut the um, berry and the leaves from different colors and we'll see what I want to do with this. Um, I, I didn't know what green I should use, but then in the end I'm settled, I settled on the dark green version and um, three, like three berries and also I wanted to create three clusters around my sentiment. So this is a super simple card really and I guess for my taste it's way too simple <laughs> and I guess because I have that big uh, frame around my um, A2 size background maybe it makes it even uh, more empty I don't know I think I could have done better I'll be honest <laughs> um, well you know some sometimes it happens uh, that you are not uh, entirely happy with the projects that you created often they look better in my mind's eye uh, I think uh, but okay I mean it you know sometimes it has to happen and some people like um, like simpler um, designs I guess so I hope uh, somebody will like this and the other thing uh, the, the other card is also pretty much the same. I went uh, the same way about it. Uh, I just used different colors uh, as in red and um, the alabaster color instead of red and white, which I normally would have um, gone with, but I, I just decided to add a white card base instead of uh, using the white for the candy swirl itself. And then I'm adding the, the leaves and the holly berry um, as a decoration in the corners of that card just so it's not so empty I guess um, and I'm using um, I actually <laughs> then ended up adding a third leaf uh, to fill it out more but I don't I don't know if I I don't know if I like that better now that I look at it um, maybe the two leaves would have been better Okay, so as you can hear, I'm not entirely happy with uh, these projects, but um, just the middle, you know, section, the A2 size, I am happy with. Anyway, simple projects, quick that you can um, mass produce as well. Um, also, the sentiment is uh, like that because once you... Uh, die cut all those colors you end up with several sentiments at the same time so easy to mass produce anyway i hope you like these um products i hope you check out the other videos as well thank you very much for watching have a great day bye bye